behind you. In an emergency, leave all cabin baggage on board. Your seatbelt is fastened, adjusted, and released as shown. It must be fastened when the seatbelt signs are on, and we recommend that you keep it fastened at all times. If the air supply fails, masks will drop from above you. Pull a mask towards you to start the oxygen. Put the mask over your nose and mouth. Hold in place with the strap. Pull on each side to adjust. Put on your own mask before helping others. If we land on water, take the life jacket from under your seat. Put it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist. Okay, Click together and break. pull the strap to adjust. Do not inflate it inside the aircraft. When outside, inflate by pulling the parking toggle. Set. If it fails parking to inflate or needs topping up, blow into the tube. There is a light and whistle for attracting attention. Ground. Start up is we complete. also carry we flotation aids for children. Roger. Good Your tray Cleared. table Disconnect. must now be stowed, armrest down, window blind. As the phrase goes, less is more. This add-on certainly ticks that box. Airline announcements. It does what it says on the tin. It brings over airline announcements into Microsoft Flight Sim in an easy manner. Now I'm taxiing here in the uh, Latin VFR A321neo. It's an aircraft I don't really recommend. Um, it's got its perks, but to be honest I don't really like it. I'm only using it for the point of this video, just because I thought it looks a bit different to an A320. But we're taxiing here at Gatwick. And as you saw at the start of the video, there was an airline announcement playing to correlate with EasyJet. Let me show you what I'm using. So I'm using this little application called Airline Announcements. It's as simple as that, we've got a bunch of airline announcements here to use. From American Airlines to British Airways to Brussels Airlines to Condor. They're all here. Now, of course, there's other applications for this like Luke Air Tool, all of which are great. But I do find this one, you know, you just open it and you can find your airline instantly. There's no messing around with anything else. So it's certainly very simple. Maybe too simple, I can si imagine some people saying. It's perfect for content creators like me, if you've seen any of my cinematic videos, you'll know I love putting a little airline announcement in the back there. You can change the volume as well by coming into settings, and you can find all the credits to all of the video mp3 files here. Now it is relatively simple, but it certainly has its place. Some things I'd like to see in the future, maybe the ability to add a seatbelt climb or no smoking climb, or maybe just a few more airline specific announcements, such as reaching crews or sort of after landing announcements, that kind of thing. Now not every airline is in here, I know that Ryanair sadly hasn't made the list, but you can basically go on flightsim.to and request to the developer who goes by the name of Pilot Alex, to add your airline into there. All you need is to download it and run the setup file. It downloads relatively quickly. You need 800 megabytes of free space and you're ready And you're ready to go. It really is that easy. I don't think I need to hold you here for much longer. It's a simple add-on, but it does the trick and that's why it's got a video to it. So you go and enjoy this. Go set up your cinematics. You know, it's just nice to sit in the back of the plane and have a bit of an announcement going. It just feels realistic. For me today, that is all. It was a quick little video, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I like to keep you up to date with all the most important Microsoft Flow Sim news, add-ons, reviews, and everything in between. So for me today, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know what airline's back there. I've never seen it before. I'll see you around. Goodbye.